love them or hate them, Ripple will not stop expanding. They will not stop growing. This is Yitzhak of Mike Ripple, and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be talking about Ripple, two articles in particular, and what they're up to at the moment. So before we get to that, let's look at technicals. Um, looking at Ripple on the weekly time frame, uh, we have one more day until the candle closes, for, until we close for the week, and we have that candle closure. So we have we had quite a lot of growth near the end of this week or the second half of this week um about 20 percent um but we'll probably close just below 15 percent um so we've had a decent week it has been somewhat of an alt week this week a lot of growth in the altcoins um so ripple has contributed to that if we are able to finish you know past this long-term trend line, that's obviously a positive sign. And then we can kick on and make some more higher lows and higher highs. Um, so that would be a very positive sign if we can uh, close above that. And also we might then end up using this as support as we did before. Um, so if that would happen, then you, would, you could see here that we'd make um, higher highs. So the second um, higher low, so that's obviously a positive sign. If we can keep making higher lows, that's obviously going to, you know, build the uptrend. And that's a very positive indication. So if we can close above that and then use that support and hopefully kick on, that'd be fantastic. But Ripple, in my opinion, technicals, you know, don't really, it doesn't really follow technical analysis in traditional way, like the other coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, you know, you've got to take this with a pinch of salt. But with that out of the way, let's look at the articles that I was talking about. So firstly, we have banking giant Santander. So Santander is one of Ripple's customers and they use the Ripple soft. They don't use XRP just yet. They are still using the messaging service, but they have been using it since 2018. So let's get into it. Banking giant, Banco Saturday is now operating its Ripple payments platform across 19 countries and it wants to expand to more. Santander launched the international payment solution OnePay FX in 2018. Uh, the bank's executive chairman Anna Botin says that half of their annual international transfers now can be handled by the Ripple app. So it shows how much they've expanded in capability that they can now handle half of the of their annual international transfers, which is exactly what Ripple are intending to do, to keep getting better and better to the point where that all of the international transfers can be handled by the Ripple app. But it gets more interesting. Uh, so Ripple helps address some of the pain points that they've seen in the past with some of their customers, and that's around being able to generate that certainty and that transparency along the transaction. So it's referring to Swift, um, who's the traditional, you know, service used for cross-border payments. And uh, they're known to not have transparency because they simply are not able to provide that. They're not able to provide that end-to-end -end point um, transparency because they don't know how long it will take, if it will reach. That's, there's a lot of error, error in, in their kind of, in their service. Hence why they're really taken to Ripple because they're able to provide that certainty that and how long it will take to arrive, which is insane to, to, to know that in this day and age, companies are not able to get a certain time frame as to how long it will take for a transfer to occur. So they're now able to get this with the Ripple service and their new Ripple app I think called OnePayFX. So Metzger, says Ripple also helps with speed with some of their transaction processing instantly, which is a great achievement for an international payment. That combination of speed and transparency has already started to change customer behavior. That's the thing that I found quite intriguing, that it's already changed their behavior. And what they're seeing customers do more business with us, so we see more transactions from the same set of customers, and that's a, per that's a very positive reinforcement of the service. We've also seen some evidence of customers changing their behavior so as to so as they understand that the service is faster. 
as they understand that service, the service can give them more certainty of how much is going to how much is going to arrive there. We've seen more evidence of customers using it in the new ways, a little bit more akin to standard domestic payment, and that customer behavior again is very positive for us. So that's exactly Ripple's vision, internet of value, where you can move um, value across any border as fast as an email. And that's obviously going to, and they've said this many times, that will increase the number of transactions worldwide. Because if you're able to send money anywhere instantly, now they, didn't, they did say that um, some of the transactions are instant. But if you're able to do this with low fees, you're obviously going to be able to say you're going to send more money for different, maybe smaller amounts for, for different reasons, maybe like buying some groceries, little things. Um, so... And now it's actually changed their behavior in that they're understanding this is actually quick and cheap. You know, why not send more money for different purposes? So they're getting it, they're understanding it, and, and it's changing their behavior. So very, very positive to see that the Ripple's vision is becoming a reality. Um, and it also says being part of Ripple has helped Santander forge relationships with other financial institutions across the globe. Another um, benefit of being part of Ripple Net. So imagine the network effect of having hundreds and hundreds of financial institutions all part of this network when they can transact very quickly and cheaply. You know, the network's only going to grow bigger and bigger. Again, part of Ripple's vision. Yeah. They understand the more customers that get on it, you know, the, the more efficient the network's going to be. Just like he said, just like he said, um, they're forging. He's forging. They're forging more relationships with other FIs across the globe. Um, again, being able to transact instantly or very quickly with any organization or financial institution across the globe is a big benefit, and it's much better than what's happening right now. Hence, why Ripple and XRP is like a no-brainer to me. And lastly, one pay FX or Santanes is the biggest bank in the Eurozone by market cap and sells 140 million customers. So that's the scope and size of this company. OnePay FX uses Ripple's payment messaging system as opposed to Ripple's native token XRP to move money between currencies. That's only going to advance to using XRP at some point because that's the next step up. Um, you know, and they're slowly building towards that. It's going to happen eventually. We just don't know when. Um, so that's the first article, absolutely fantastic, just to see the vision come into light. They expected this to happen and now it's happening, you know, the progress, incremental steps, it's happening right in front of our eyes. And the next article, Ripple pushing to scale XRP payment products around the world uh, and a new job listing reveals. So Ripple outlines its plans to enter new territories and develop proprietary tools that monitor market movements and liquidity. Ripple is growing and we are looking for a quantitative developer to help build tools to monitor market activity and liquidity for XRP as we scale our payment products in new markets around the world. Again, this shows that they are not that they're not stopping. They're going to keep expanding, hence why they are putting a job, you know, on the market to help accommodate those needs. You know, they wouldn't do that unless they knew or they are in the midst of expanding and they are constantly expanding. So this is no surprise. A successful candidate would work alongside the company's institutional market team to leverage data and gain insight to both the front exchange and crypto markets. Uh, earlier this month, Ripple's vice president of customer service, Market Trucha, confirmed XRP-based remittance platform on on-demand liquidity is live in Europe. Again, step by step, they are expanding to every continent, every market, every country in the world, and it will it will take over Swift's um, network, legacy network of how value is transferred at the moment. Um, and again, this job listing just goes to show that they are have big plans to expand or what they are already expanding so it's not even about their plans they're already expanding and they need someone to do the job to help them expand to to monitor all this data in foreign exchange so 
Um, don't know what to say. It's a no-brainer. Whether you love it, love it or hate it, Ripple are expanding that network. And at some point, that network effect is going to hit that exponential rate. We're not there yet, and the price clearly doesn't show it, but we're going to hit that exponential rate at some point where it just goes through the roof. Um, you know, Bitcoin reached that at some point where the net amount of network participants just went through the roof. Um, and XRP and Ripple will get to that point as well. So that'll be all for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.